uh, happy tears ain't gonna be there neither. Bible said that he'd wipe all tears from our eyes. I'm gonna have joy, but I ain't gonna cry them, them tears of joy no more. But uh, uh, the Bible said that uh, it said in one place, uh, he told the children of Israel, he said, y y your mourning's gonna be turned into laughter. Amen. He told them their laughter one time be turned into mourning, but amen. One day our mourning is going to be turned to dancing, going to be turned to laughter, and I thank God for that. We've got to, we just got a better place to go. That's all. That's that's all there is to it. We got a better place than what we've seen here. My, if, I, if all I had was even just the good times I've had on this earth, well, I'd be miserable. Amen, but I've got something better. I've got something better. So if you've got your Bibles tonight, we're going to be in Hebrews chapter number 11. I'm going to read a, just a, a couple verses, ask you to stand for a few minutes. You pray for me, and I'll try to give you what God gave me, and that's, uh, that's all I know to do every time I stand. That's what I want to do. I appreciate the Lord, appreciate the singing, appreciate the, uh, just everything. I appreciate God for, I can't even, I can't even tell how much. That, that he, now, he knows my heart. But I just want to tell, I like to tell how good that he is to me, but I can't even scratch the surface. Hebrews 11, verse number 39. You pray hard for me, and I'll just, amen, just pray that God would just, just anoint me. Hebrews 11, 39. The Bible said, and I could, I could read this whole chapter, but for time I ain't going to. And these all, having obtained a good report through faith, receive not the promise. God, having provided some better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. That's all I'm going to read. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we thank you, Lord, for uh, just another time, another opportunity, God, to uh, gather in your house. And God, I pray now that, uh, God, that you'd touch my body, Lord, that, uh, God, you'd anoint me now because, God, I know that, uh, God, uh, there's, there's not anything in me, God, that's able uh, to do anything for you, God, just outside of uh, what you put in me. So, God, I pray that, uh, that now, Lord, you'd anoint me now. Just let me open my mouth. And, God, I pray that you'd open every heart, God, that here, how God, that we might receive your truth, God, your word, and God, that we might hide it down their hearts, how God, that we might not sin against thee, and it's how God, we ask all these things in the name, how that's above every name, in the name of Jesus, and amen. Now, if I had a thought tonight that God had laid on my heart, amen, it'd be something better, amen. Now, the Bible said here in this chapter that, how brother, amen, it talks about all those that, how brother died, having not receive uh, the promise of God that some of them uh, brothers said widows and women had, had had their dead and then come back to life that, and that men and women they'd seen the power of God how that Moses chose uh, to suffer affliction with how uh, the people of God that enjoyed uh, the pleasures of sin for a season and uh, how that Enoch by faith our uh, brother was translated into our uh, brother a dead or country uh, brother, they all seen the power of God. They all seen, amen, something that was from another world. But brother, I want to tell you, brother J.M., that by the grace of God, we've got something better than even what they saw. We've got something better, brother, than anything that they have seen in their life. Well, we read and we see how that God, brother, by amen, Elisha, I would come Come down and do many works, and by Elijah I would come down and do many works. But I want to tell you, child of God, that we've got something better. We've got something better. I mean, I've not seen. I mean, neither here heard. I neither has it entered into the hearts of men. What God has prepared for them to love Him. We've got something better, don't we? We've got something better. I mean, all the world. Lord, our brother likes to put sorrow. I mean, on you, they put sorrow. I mean, on me. I mean, oh, we've got something better. I mean, we've got something. I bet for one day, I mean, going to make the lame walk. I we've got something that one day, I bet that man's going to make the blinded. I brother eyes to see. I we've got something one day. I bet brother's going to make the deaf to hear. I mean, oh, I don't know what to say. I bet just tell yeah, I bet well, whatever you're going through, I whatever something you might have, I bet we've got something better, I we've got something better, I we've got something better, I wait on us. Amen. Hey, I pray for me. 
Amen. I preach so over to the house your heart and, and the devil's trying to find, amen, find me. And, amen, amen. I usually don't lose my voice after preaching one time, but amen, I know that's what the devil, amen, you know what the devil like to do? Amen, he'd like to hinder you. He'd like to hinder me. I but thank God I'm glad we got something better. Amen, we got something better. Amen, I will say we'll never. Amen, filled with tears again. Amen, amen. A body, a day in that'll never wear out. Hallelujah. Amen, no more. Amen, sickness, no more. Amen, no more. I hear about no virus. Amen, we got something better. Amen, if it's here. Amen, this is probably, I've been one of the craziest years that we've ever seen in our lives. Amen, I'm glad we've got something better. I'm glad we've got a better a place to go one day after a while. I'm the Bible said that all these, I bet better they died having not received the promise. I will one day we're going to receive the promise. I mean, what is that promise? A promise of a better land. A promise, amen. I may men joy and peace. I promise of no more a sin in our life. I no more temptation. I mean, no more fighting the devil. I we've got something better. I praise Lord. I we've got something better than this world. Amen. Hallelujah. If it's all I had, amen, I don't know what I'd do. It ain't no wonder people, amen, kill yourself. It ain't no wonder people, I'd put the gun to their head. Amen, did you look around? If I didn't have the Lord, I bet I don't know what I'd do. If it not been for the Lord's mercies, amen, we'd all been consumed. I'm glad that every day, I want to get up out of my bed. His mercy is new every morning. Amen, Jeremiah said, he said, oh, he said, I look around. I I see how bad that it is. I but oh Jeremiah, you got something better. I Jeremiah said, then I recalled, I meant better than my mind, and therefore I have hope. He said, I remember I that his goodness never fails, I that his mercy's new every day. Ain't you glad that God's mercy is new every morning? Ain't you glad you got something better than what you got right here? Amen. Amen. All of them in the hall of faith. Amen, they've seen many mighty things. Amen, I mean, amen, you see Noah, I moved by gay men fear, I built the build a boat to the saving of his soul. And he's seen how that God, amen, how that God would, amen, amen, do what he said he would. I was talking on the way up the road and I said, amen, I was talking about that revival down front porch. And I said it rained, amen. Some of y'all remember that Friday it rained all day. Amen, and we'd been praying that it would not rain. Amen, and there we was. And, amen, but I heard before the meeting started. Amen, Brian looked at me and he said, well, I should we go up fellowship or not? Amen. I said, well, amen. If amen, if we've got faith here, amen. If we're supposed to be people of faith, is what I was thinking. Amen. We've been a praying all day. I bet it would not rain. Amen. Now, we wouldn't have much faith. I bet if we went up to the church house, amen, and praise the Lord, it didn't rain. Amen. Until I got up to give an altar call. That's what God's able to do. I've, amen, I've seen God come through. I've seen God increase my faith. I bet I'm glad we got something better. I bet even ever. I'm the best thing you never think of God to do it in your life. There's something better waiting on us. Hallelujah. I'm glad I got something better. I'm glad I got something better. Jam, there's something better. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible said, Amen. That old John the Baptist, how there he was. I know he'd seen some great things. I brother, Amen. I talked about the other night. How that when he was when he was in his mother's womb. How that when Mary came down. I know that had to be a great time. I that the power of God was so strong. I that even a baby. I began to leap in his mommy's womb. I when that amen the Lord and Savior. I come into that room. I well the Bible said. And an old John grew up. And there was never a man. I mean so great as John was. I but the Bible said, Oh John, I see he'd seen many great things. I no doubt he'd seen the power of God in his life. I but there's one thing. I gotta tell John, I've got something better waiting on me than anything he's seen in this life. He had something better 
they're waiting on him. And the Bible said they ain't received it yet. And they're waiting on us. And we're not going in that new heaven. And then until it all gets under together. And the Bible said, Peter. And then said, we look for a new heaven. And we look for a new earth. And we're in and dwell in righteousness. And what's that tell me? There's something better waiting on us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's something better. Amen. You think about the best thing you've ever seen God do. I mean, just, amen, just power. Amen, just think about it. Seeing souls saved. Well, we've got something better. Amen, we've got something better. Amen, oh, I can't think of nothing better in this world than to see somebody come and, amen, make things right with God. But we've got something better than that. We've got something better than that. They ain't gonna receive it till we do. I'm an old Enoch, a man of God. I've been walked with God and was not. But we're gonna have the same power. I've the same resurrected power. I've been raised Jesus from the dead. That's gonna change our power. Our corruptible bodies one day after a while. I'm an old resurrection day. I'm in one sin. That's the best day I'll ever know. A resurrection day. I'm something better than when you live. I'm an old we got up on there. Had a sunrise service this Easter. I thought about oh how good it'd be. I'm in for the Lord to come back. I'm in all the dead and Christ would rise. I'm in them that are alive and remain. I shall be called up together with him. I to meet the Lord in the air. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to always be with the Lord. I think that's something better than what you got right now. I we're always going to be with God. I'm glad there's something better than this fellow to tears. Amen. Amen. Oh yeah. Amen. If I had this life only I had hope in my Savior I'd be a miserable man. But Christ has become the first fruits of them which sleep. Amen. He ain't gonna leave us back here. Amen. But hallelujah. Amen. One day out of the eastern sky. Are you talking about something better? One day out of the eastern sky. Amen. Arise, my fair one. That's what Solomon said. Amen. One day that amen. How the old king was gonna come down to the woman. How to the old Shulamite woman. And say, Arise, my fair one. I come away with me. Amen. She's away not something better. I praise the Lord. We're waiting on something better. We're waiting on the Lord. To come get his bride. Amen. So the Bible said, Amen. John the Baptist. Amen. There he was. Amen. Grew up. We don't know much about his childhood. Amen. But I know that one day there he was. Out there, amen, at the Jordan. Amen. Dressed like a wild man. Amen. Me and David grew up talking today. He said, People tell me I don't look like a preacher. He said, What's the preacher supposed to look like? And I said, John the Baptist, I guess. Amen. Amen. Come out of the, come out of the, amen, the, the wilderness there, eating locusts and wild honey. Amen. Amen. Had a, amen. Had camel's hair for his raiment. Amen. Had the leather and girdle about him. Amen. Just a man that nobody wanted. Had nothing to do with. And the power was, he seen the power of God. Amen. In his life, he said, Repent. And for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And he said, Oh, you generation of vipers who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come. Amen. As good as that was for John, John had something better waiting on him. As good as that was for John, John had a better place. I brother prepared for him. Can you imagine now how good that it was when he seen the Lamb of God come walking out of the wilderness that day? Amen. Oh, the Lamb of God. I'm the one that takes away I'm the sin of the world. I will, Brother John, see him in the flesh that day. I believe God's something better than that. I one day will have a body I just like his body. I one day will see him. Every eye will see him. I'm going to see him for myself. I can't see him for you. And you can't see him for me. I, but I'm going to see my Lord one day after a while. Amen. And if that ain't the best thing, and if that don't make you want to go, I ain't got nothing for you. <laughs> amen. If seeing him don't make you want to go, I ain't got nothing for you. Amen. But I've got, amen, there's something, amen, in me that desires to go to a better land. I'm home, I'm homesick for a land that I've never seen. I'm homesick for a country that I've never laid my eyes on. I'm homesick for a home that I've never stepped foot in. Amen. What is that place? Amen. Some call it heaven. Amen. Amen. Some call it New Jerusalem. But I just
just taught in my home, you know. I just taught in my home. I mean, I thank God that he's given me a place. I with a roof over my head. I mean, hallelujah, J.N. I've got something better waiting on me when it's all over with. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm glad I've got something better. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible said, uh, John was, and here come the Lamb of God. I behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Amen. Every sin. Amen. Every sin. It don't matter. Amen. Then the little lives, he come to take him away. Amen. The Bible said that God told Titus, his brother Brandon said, Amen, this morning. Amen, that he should redeem us from all. Amen, every bit of iniquity. Amen, you can't amen, have these big sins and little sins. Amen, he come to take away the sin of the whole world. I so carry come down to the water. Amen, John the Baptist said, I surely I've got need. I've been be baptized of thee. And no doubt that he did. I remember old Jesus I remember looked at him and said I remember all in that day he said suffer to be so after it become a place I to fulfill all righteousness I John prophesied of him I before he ever seen him he said there's one coming out to me I I can see him now I bet said oh John are you the one oh no boys I bet something better coming out to me there's something better coming out to me I'm not even worthy I to get down there and let him let you shoes. I ain't worthy. I had to get down and take his shoes off. I mean, all the Bible said, I bet here come that day. I John said, he'll baptize you I with fire of the Holy Ghost. Ain't you glad one day when God saved you, he put something in you. I bet made you a new creature. And now you've got a better home. By the grace of God, we're going on one day. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm, I'm not worthy. John wasn't worthy. But I've got some better. <laughs> Amen. All my righteousness. Amen. You take if I take this rag out there. Amen. Just dirty it up. Amen. Amen. And just get it as filthy. Amen. As you could. Amen. As it could be. Amen. My righteousness would be like that. Amen. But you know what God did? Amen. He gave me something better. <laughs> Hallelujah. He gave me something better. Amen. He made me white. Amen. This right here's white. But I. Amen. God made me much whiter than that. Isaiah said, "Come now and let us reason together." Amen. Said the Lord, "I know your sins be scarlet, and they shall be." snow. I bet it be red like crimson and they shall be as wool. And he said if you be willing and obedient that's what God's looking for right now. If you be willing and obedient you shall eat the good of the land. I bet if you refuse and rebel you've got some worse waiting on you. I bet if you do what I say there's something better waiting on you. Amen. Amen. There's somebody better They're coming after me boys. That's what John the Baptist said. Amen. The Bible said there was a man from God by the name of John. And he was not this light, but he came to bear witness of the light. Amen. The light shined in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. And John said, I'm not the one. Amen. I'm just the voice. I want to cry in the wilderness. I prepare you the way of the Lord and make his path straight. I saw that day he took him down in the water. Amen. Can you imagine now the power as the Holy Ghost descended? I brother in the form of a dove. And John, amen. I heard the Lord say, and this is my beloved son and whom I'm well pleased. Amen. I can you imagine that joy? I can you imagine, amen. And just how great that that was. And but John, you don't know it yet. I but there's something better waiting on you. I John, you don't know it yet. I but you've got something better than even seeing the Holy Ghost. I you've got something better than even seeing the Son of God. I praise the Lord, child of God. We've got something better tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. I've got something better than anything they've got. Amen. Amen. I've got something better than winning the lottery. I've got something better, amen, than all the drugs that you've ever found. I've got something better, amen, 
I've got something better. Amen. And the greatest. I've had some good times with that little boy. But I've got something better than any time that I've ever had with him. I've got something better. Amen. I can think back to when I was a kid. Amen. How Christmas used to excite me. But I've got something better than a walking down yonder the Christmas tree. I've got something better than an opening in presents up. I've got something better. Amen. Oh, yes, I do. I when Jesus come to me that day and told me what I was and it saved my wretched soul. He said, yes, you feel good right now. I said, hallelujah, there's something better I've made for you. Hallelujah. Amen, I've got something better. Hallelujah. Amen, I just, amen, if, we, if I don't give you joy, amen, I don't know what will. I've got something better than this whole world. Amen. So the Bible said, amen, there, John. Amen, he's doing what God told him to do. Amen. And here he come. And you know what old John did? Amen, there was a day. Amen, when he sat up. And he said, now it ain't lawful for you, Herod, to have your brother's wife. Amen. It ain't lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Now, amen. Amen. This just doing, just saying truth. Amen. Got John put down to prison. I kind of like old Stephen. I when Stephen got down yonder and was being stoned. Amen. He said, I see Jesus as standing at the right hand of God. I can all say, man, I believe God. I could have looked right down at Stephen and said, I Stephen, just hold on a little longer. Let him stone you, Stephen. Let him, amen. Let him, let him hit you in the face. Amen. Let him bruise you to death. And you've got something better. And you've got something better. I mean, Stephen looked up and he seen. I mean, what he had waiting on him. I brought it by the eye of faith. I looked up and I see. And there's something better waiting on me. Amen. Oh, I'm so glad I've got a better place to go. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. <laughs> Amen. I've got some more. Amen. We're mad. No more discord. No more division. Amen. No more. Amen. I'm talking about somebody. Amen. No more running down the man of God. Amen. No more. Amen. Amen. I've heard people talk about men. Amen. I know it's got power. Amen. I know that they live right. Amen. Yeah, the devil gives them a reason to run down their name. Amen. I'm glad I've got something better. I've got something better. Hallelujah. I've got a better place to go tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said, Amen. John said, Now you can't have her. Heard. That's your brother Philip's wife. You can't have her. Ain't that what it is right now? Everybody wants something everybody else got. Amen. It started with the oxen. It started with the car. Amen. Now, if, amen. If, if you don't like your wife, just get another. Amen. Amen. Don't like your husband, just get another. Amen. But old John the Baptist said, it ain't lawful for you to do that. And so Herod said, I'm going to put him in prison. But Herod knew that he was a man of God. Herod knew that he had power from God. And so amen. Herod said, I'm not going to touch him. I'm just going to leave him in prison. But here old Herod got. I bet he had the big thieves. And he, amen. Amen. And Herodias started coming in there. I mean, she said, now go in there. He's getting drunk. Now you go in there and dance before him and he'll give you whatever you want. And she said, amen. I mean, he looked at her and he said, I'll give you I mean, anything you want up to half of my kingdom. Uh, what do you want, my young, young lady? What do you want? And she said, I want you to give me John the Baptist's head. I mean, on a charger. Oh, 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 oh there, there. I mean, he said, oh, I can't do that. I bet mean, he had so much pride in his life. I bet mean, he wasn't going back up on his word. He said, go down yonder and kill John. How John was. I down there in the prison. I'm getting ready to die. And he said, boys, go out on there. Make sure that man is the one we're supposed to look for. Make sure that man is the one I'm supposed to die for. Amen. You're getting ready to die, John. <laughs> but you got something better. <laughs> Amen. You're getting ready to die, John. But you've got something better. I'm waiting on you after a while. Amen. He said, go out on and see if he's the one. So they come to him and they said, well, John wanted us to come, Master, and see if you're the one that he's supposed to be looking for. He said, you go tell John. Amen. Go tell John that the dead, or he said, go tell him that the blind received their sight. 
Amen. You go tell John, amen, that the lame, they walk again. You go tell John that the dead have been raised. Now you go tell John the poor, have the gospel preached unto them. Amen. Oh, I believe after that day, John the Baptist said, just kill me, Herod. I'm ready to die because I've seen the glory. Amen. Oh, amen. I'm the old priest down the under the temple. He waited and waited and waited. And he said, God, don't let me die until I see the glory of God. And the Bible said one day, here come Joseph and Mary down to the temple there. And he looked on him and he said, I did see, amen. He said, this is the glory of God. I've seen the color. I've seen the glory. I've seen the sun. I said, oh, you man of God, you've got something better. One day, you'll see him as he is. Amen. I've got something better. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen, John the Baptist. Amen, he didn't want to die for a man that wasn't really the one. Amen. He's seen him come out. I mean, he's seen the power of God fall in the spirit. Or the spirit come down as a dove. But he's still in his mind, he doubted. And he said, I've got to know if he's the one. I've got to know if he's the one. Well, John the Baptist down there in the prison, I guess they give him the bread of affliction and the water of affliction. And amen. Every day, I don't know how long he stayed there, but just eating that bread and eating that water. Amen. I bet every day John thought, I've got something better. I've got something better. <laughs> Amen. Every day the devil feeds you that bread of affliction. Amen. Just tell yourself I've got something better. Every day the devil get, Amen. Makes you, Amen. Tries to make you drink what he's got. Just tell him I've got something better. Every day he tries to shut his sword down your throat. I've got something better waiting on me, devil. And the devil says, I'll give you everything. He took Jesus up on the mountain. And he said, You can have it all. And the Jesus said, I've got a better work to do. And then the devil says, And you can have everything. I've I'm going to tell you, child of God, there's something better I'm waiting on every one of us. Amen. I've got something better. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible said that John the Baptist, amen, there he was in the prison. And he come down there, amen, cut his head off. Amen. There he died. I mean, dead. Amen. What's his Amen. What's his God? What, what's God? What's his God going to do now? Amen. That's what Herod was probably thinking. Amen. Uh, but there come a day when old Herod, even after he died, Amen. He got Amen. He remembered back to the time that he killed him. He said, "This man is John the Baptist. Come back." Amen. Oh no, Herod. Amen. And John the Baptist was a great man, but this man here is something better. This man here is the one that's going to bring judgment on all the earth. This man here is the one that's going to that made the dead. John can make the dead live again. John can make the lame to walk again. John can make the blind to see again. Are you say, can Jesus do that? Well, I had eyes that could not see, and I had legs that could not walk, spiritually speaking. But one day, I mean, all of the waters were troubled. I mean, somebody picked me up and put me down the water. I went forth the sin. I went forth the running. And the Bible said a man I set out the gate of the temple, a brother which is called beautiful. And the Bible said to a man, Peter and John, how they come by there that day. That man was a begging arms. I give me some money. Amen. He said, I ain't got no silver. And I ain't got no gold. But I'm going to tell you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. That man laid down waiting for money every day. Amen. I don't know how much money he ever got. But there was something better in the pockets of John. There was something better in the pockets of Peter. There was something better that came his way that day. Amen. I've got something better than all that money you've been getting. <laughs> I bet most men didn't give him a dime. Amen. But every now and then somebody would come by. Out of the kindness of their heart, here you go. Amen. But amen, Peter, I've got something better for you, buddy. I've got something better for you, buddy. Amen. I've got something that's going to make you rise and walk. All that money, you can go to the doctors with it. It ain't going to make you rise and walk. Amen. Uh, he sat there and sat there. I like that woman had this issue of blood. She'd been to the physicians uh, years and years and years. She had tried everything that she could. Amen. To try, amen. To try to fix herself, try to cure herself. But one day, a man came through the crowd. Amen. He was better than any physician she'd ever met. Amen. There was something better come through her town one day. And she reached out and touched his garment that day. And she's made whole. She's made whole. Amen. You know what happened to me when I got a hold of his garment? I was made whole. Amen. J.M., I'd, I'd had some things that made me happy in life. 
I had. I'd done things that I thought, amen, I, I thought was great. And I thought I'd done some things that, amen, that I just had a lot of enjoyment out of. I can remember, amen, there was one summer in high school, amen, I really got into fishing. Amen. And I, saw, and I was just doing it, every, I mean, every day almost. Amen. So I've always been one. Amen. When I got into something, I went all in with it. Amen. And, but it wore off one day. I'd get all in with it and it wore off. Well, I, amen. Something happened to me on March 10, 2013. That was something better. I got all in with that man. And seven years later, praise the Lord, I'm still all in with that man. I'm saying, man, I want to serve him with everything I got because he's better than anything else I've ever known. Hallelujah. I got something better, church. I got something better. I'd like to tell the world, I've got something better than what you got. Amen. I got something better than any anything it'll any medicine you've ever tried. Amen. That woman. Hey man, I wonder what this man can do for me. Maybe the devil told her. He can't do nothing for you. Well, I've tried everything else. I've tried everything else. Why don't we just taste and see if the Lord's good? So I can just see her there. Here he come. Hey man, he said, boy, somebody touch me. Hey man, what do you mean? Peter looked at him. I, hey man, I, oh, Peter was a brash man. He looked at him. He said, now Lord, I want you to look around at everybody touching you. What in the world do you mean somebody touched you? Hey man, he said, I, I felt virtue come out of me. Hey, man, somebody touched me while well, he knew who it was all along. I bet he was going to make a point. And he turned around and he looked at her and he said, daughter, be of good cheer. Thy faith that made you whole. I believe he could have looked at her and said, you found something better than all the physicians. Amen. Something better. Hallelujah. Something better. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So John the Baptist, he died for something better. Amen. Than he'd ever, ever known before. Amen. He grew up probably with a, a man with a godly mother. Amen. Grew up with a daddy as a priest. Amen. But he, found, he met a man that was better. Yes. That gave him something better. Amen. Something worth dying for. Something worth dying for. You know, we've got something worth dying for. We've got something worth dying for, church. We've got something, amen, that's, amen, it is not only good enough to live by, amen, but unlike him that live like hell and say it's good enough to live by, what we got is good enough to die by. What we got is something better than what they got. Amen. What I've got when I come down to the deathbed, amen, I don't have to worry. Amen, I don't have to worry and say, amen, well, amen, I hope I'm right. I hope that I got right. Amen, I know in whom I have believed. Amen. I know. I ain't waiting on Buddha. Amen. Amen. Show me something. Amen. I'm not, I don't need to go over there and amen, get down and find his bones. Amen. The one that I'm serving. I seen the other day on a news article on my phone said they found the skull. They thought they found the skull of Jesus. I thought you ain't never going to find that. Amen. You ain't never going to find that because one day, amen, oh, I bet you may and the other may, they'd been down to many a tomb. They probably went down on their mom's, maybe the day she he died and they men maybe put flowers on the grave and that they went down to a tomb one day and he's about to find something better than they'd ever seen the graveyard before. Amen. Amen. Oh, how in the world are we going to roll the stone away? Amen. I don't know. Amen. But they got down there and an angel sitting up on the stone. Amen. Stone done been rolled away. Look in there. Amen. And amen said, Amen. There's a amen. The napkin folded up. They tell me that means I ain't done yet. I'm coming back. Amen, I'm coming back. Amen. That was, amen, that was a resurrection that day, but there's something better. <laughs> amen, Jesus got up that day, but when he comes back, when he comes back, we've got a better resurrection. And we've got something better. Amen, it's amen, all the dead in Christ is gonna rise. Hallelujah. All the dead is gonna meet their maker from now on to all. Amen, something better. You talk about something better. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, John. Amen. He heard. He said, he said, you tell him the dead, they walk. Or they, they live. They've been raised. Lazarus, a dead man, been raised, John. You tell him that the, the, the dead, they hear. Amen. The blind, they see. The lame, they walk. And the poor got the gospel preached unto them. Amen. This is the man I've been waiting on, boys. I believe he could have looked at him and said that. This is the man. This is him. This is the man that, that Isaiah told us about. Isaiah said, boys, Babylon's are coming, but there's something better. 
One day a virgin's gonna conceive. One day, amen, one day a virgin's gonna conceive in Israel. You're gonna call his name Emmanuel uh, being interpreted God with us. One day there's gonna be a man uh, that goes for, before him and prepares uh, his way, uh, but there's something better coming after him. Isaiah said you better get ready for captivity. Uh, but if you can just hold on for a few hundred years, there's something better uh, coming to your place. Amen. Just hold on, there's something better coming. Amen. Amen. The devil says it's time to quit. No, there's something better coming. There's something better coming. Amen. The devil says you might as well enjoy the pleasures of sin. Moses said, no, I got something better. I got something better. I'd rather suffer affliction. Paul got out yonder and he said, I'll suffer with him, but I'm going to reign with him. If I be dead with him, I'm going to live with him. Paul, why in the world would you want to die for this man that you never even met in the flesh? Because I got something better. I got something better waiting on me. I'm glad tonight, church, that I've got something better. Amen. amen. John the Baptist, great man, great, one of the greatest men, Jesus said, never a man ever lived like him. But he that's least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Herod said, oh, he's come back from the dead. But no, it ain't him. Amen, it's the one that come after him. The one, that woman said, Lord, we know that Messiah cometh. He restoreth all things. She come down to the well, and I'm closing. Amen. And there just every, I don't know how many times J.M. She'd come down there and she'd take her bucket and she'd lift it up and she'd get water. She'd go back to her shacked up boyfriend. Amen. Amen. And she'd go back. Amen. She'd go back and amen to the husband she had before. Amen. One, amen. One of them, one of them several ones. And she she dip that water. Amen. Uh, down the water or dip that bucket down the water. Bring that bucket up out of the water. Go back to her house. That water would quench her thirst for a little while. But one day something better. Come down to Jacob's well. You know what happened? The well went and sat down on the well. Amen. Began to talk to that woman. Amen. And he said, she, she, now she knew he was a Jew. Yeah. Now the Jews, amen, they ain't got no dealings with us, she said. What now, how is it that you, being a Jew, that's drinking me, being a Sumerian? Amen. The Jews ain't got no dealings with us. Yeah, that's right. He said, but there's something better. There's something better than all the past you've known. There's something better than all this that you've known in your life. He said, she said, she said, your people say that in Jerusalem men are to worship. But my fathers have worshiped God in this mountain for all their life. And she said, let me tell you something, woman. As salvations of the Jews. And she said, he said, you don't even know what you're worshiping. He said, but the hour is coming. And now he is. Well, the true worshipers are going to worship him in spirit and in truth. You know what he's saying? Something better. Amen. You couldn't worship him out here before, but I've got something better for you. Amen. I've got something better for you. Hey, John the Baptist died knowing there was something better. Amen. He had his head served up on a charger knowing there was something better. Amen. Amen. There, he, there they brought his head in there. And I bet Herod thought, oh my goodness, what in the world have I done? I've killed a man of God. I've killed a man of God. Amen. Herod had a great line of people. Amen. One Herod right after the other. There was another Herod over in Acts. And the Bible said that he gave not God glory. And they said, this man speaks as a God, not as man. And the worms ate his body that day. Amen. The worms ate his body. He received the glory of men. But I've got something better than the glory of man. Amen. I felt the glory of God in my life. I've seen the glory of God in the church house. Amen. I say, Amen. I don't want glory for myself. Amen. I've felt something better. I've got something better. Amen. I don't want the pleasures of the world. I've got something better. Amen. I've got something better. Amen. I had friends that, amen, that one pleasure goes to another pleasure and before you know it, you're hooked on drugs and amen, you're 90 pounds, amen, soaking wet and amen, that's the way they are. But amen, that might have made them feel good for a little while. But I've got something better. I've got something better. Amen. Praise the Lord. I like to be filled with the Holy Ghost and I've never got a hangover from being filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. I've got something better than all that. John the Baptist died not having received the promise. But there's some better things. There's some better things, ain't there? Amen. He, he, he faced death, but there's some better things for John after death. There's some better things for you after death. There's some better things for you after the funeral home. Amen. It's a sad time to go down to the funeral home. It is. And now in the, in, in, the, in the day we live in, you can't even, amen, a lot of them, you can't even go in and pay your respects. But there's something better. Amen. I'm glad, church. I've got something better, ain't you? Amen. We, we, we ought to rejoice in knowing that we have got something better. Amen. I, amen. I'm so glad of that. Amen. If you